Hey, good morning, how is everybody today? And welcome back to my video a day in the month of May series. Hey, I'm Jason Lopez, team leader and real estate broker at Keller Williams in La Mesa. And yes, I am sporting the Red Day shirt. Next Thursday, May 14th, is our annual Keller Williams Day of Community Service, Red Day, Renew, Energize, Donate. We've got a great event out at the uh, La Mesa American Legion, post 282. Limited tickets still available. I'll have my contact info at the end of this short video if you're interested in supporting a great organization right here in La Mesa. Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about um, a cool little article I got from Rob Adrain. Rob is our uh, mortgage loan officer with our partner Movement Mortgage. I'll have his contact info here at the end of the video as well. But Rob sent this cool article, Signs of a Neighborhood on the Rise. So what we're talking about guys are those hot up and coming neighborhoods and how to recognize them before everybody else does. So here's a couple of, of uh, things to think about on how to identify a neighborhood on the rise. Number one guys, it's near another hot spot, right? So if, if that neighborhood, that hot neighborhood is, you know, not on the upswing anymore, what other neighborhoods right around there um, could be that next hot spot? So it's all about location, location, location. And if you can't afford the prices maybe in that really hot neighborhood that's uh, currently desirable, maybe one of those surrounding neighborhoods um, will become that next up and coming spot. Next point, you can get there from here. So public transportation and walkability, very key factors in um, helping figure out what neighborhood might be that next little hot spot. Other thing to look at, independent businesses um, are popping up, trendy shops. So you've got a younger demographic typically in those neighborhoods, tracks a lot of bars, a lot of restaurants, they're all vying for that millennial dollar. So uh, keep an eye open for independent businesses, restaurants, bars popping up in those neighborhoods. Um, you'll also see some more um, upscale and very recognizable stores and, and uh, locations. Think Starbucks, um, things like that, maybe Whole Foods. When you start seeing those um, opening in certain neighborhoods, that's a good sign that that's going to be an up-and-coming area. Um, other thing to pay attention to, guys, homes in that area are starting to sell faster. So month over month, we're seeing more sales, more activity in that neighborhood. Again, a good sign that's an up-and-coming area. And then lastly, guys, crime rates are on the decline. Right? Less crime is happening, um, and again, that's going to indicate that as people are moving into that neighborhood, um, rehabbing properties, community involvement becomes a factor, people are proud about living in that area, you're going to see, start to see those crime rates go down, which is awesome. So again, if you have any questions about how to identify an up-and-coming neighborhood or any real estate questions, or you want to know more about Red Day, give me a call, Jason Lopez, 619-469. 0700 or real easy on the email Jason Lopez at kw.com. Also, again, this information provided by our mortgage partner Rob Adrain. Rob can be contacted by email at rob.adrain at movement.com or on his direct line 619 667 8033. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.